If you are a first time viewer, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back to my channel. So into today's video, I am going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm not by myself, as you can see. I have a guest and her name is Miss Maya Ngumayenziwe Wagamlungi. Yes, that's her name. And Umayenzi Wemlumi currently holds um, a degree in legal studies, it's a BA Laws degree in legal studies and political sciences. She's currently studying towards her LLB degree at UKZN. Um, so, Mayanzi, please just briefly tell us about yourself. Um, Alright, Mayanzi is a fun person. I am uh, looking forward to experiencing new things, very ambitious, and I come from a very happy background. Yes. Um, I grew up with a mom and a dad, and it was a, nice. a beautiful family. We didn't have everything, but we had enough to survive. Yes. And life was good up until things rocked up a little bit when dad left us in 2014. Made his soul that. rest in peace. It's okay, darling. Um, yeah, and then that is when I started looking at life differently because now I needed to be independent. You know? So just briefly tell us how life was from you um, being used to ha having a dad at mm -hmm. home, actually having two parents who are actually doing things for you and now your dad is no longer there and it's basically you, your mom and your one sister or two sisters. How many siblings do you have? I do have, uh, I have literally three siblings but I lived with my baby sister and okay. my mom and dad, yes. So the other ones were too old so they were not within the household. Okay, mm -hmm. so how did things change for you after the passing of your dad? Uh, okay, uh, just to be specific, I started working when my dad was still around. Um, the thing is, he was too sick and I had to get up in the morning with my mom and go help her at work as a domestic worker. So that was way before. So when my dad uh, died, then I had to do something independently, not just going with my mom to work, but having a job of my own. Uh, I started working at the age of 10 when I was in grade 7. And I worked in Morningside for uh, this white guy. Wow. And yeah, and I used to lie to my friends and say that I have another home uh, in Morningside because <laughs> they would see me there, some of them, and be like, yeah. hey, you always at Winter Mia Center. And I'd be like, yeah, I have a home because I was too afraid to tell them, to tell them that I'm a domestic worker at that age. So, you know? correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. So you started working mm. alongside your mom yes. when your father was still alive. Perfect. So it's not something that you learned after the passing of your dad. No, no. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, what did that teach you as a person? So you've always been an independent person. Basically, yes. Okay. Um, it taught me a lot because it taught me that um, I don't have to ask for money because mm -hmm. I can I understand that in order to get money in the bank, I need to wake up in the morning and I need to work for it. So even today. It is very hard for me to say, Mom, I need this. Mom, I need this. Because I have two businesses of my own. Yes. And, and I'm a teacher. Yes. And, and I'm a student at the same time. I, I'm doing everything uh, that I can possibly do not to run out of money. I okay. know how to take care of myself. And it helped me a lot. So did you not feel like it was abuse at that time when you were 10 and basically... Kids at your age are, mm. are playing we in country or whatever yeah, the case yeah, was. Yeah. Did you not feel like oh my mom is abusing me? Um, um to be honest with you, society used to feed me that. Yeah. Now because uh, I've always been a child that take uh, I would take instructions from my mom. I didn't see a as abuse and she would always tell me that and police and so and and when I look back now I can really see or would you know actually you're being for Lisa because me and your me and your clean. Oh, she's a very good cook. You know, <laughs> whenever and... she comes over, I can <laughs> say her, you know, because for me. <laughs> well, I know. I remember the 
people used to be like, ah, mm. but my young as to have me zega and whatnot, they would try to feed me that type of information. Yeah. But I, I'm glad I didn't listen to that, you know, because if I was against it, maybe I'd be looking quasi and I'm trying to maybe I'm about Okay, so fast forward from um primary to right. high school, you know. Oguti, eh, umsebenzi we skole, awo ko lula in high school just as it was in primary. Mm. So how did you juggle everything together as a child who was working at that time? Um, okay, to be honest, my mom gave me space to put in their phone. As much as I was working, I was I was working on Saturdays, mm -hmm. and things got tougher. I had to work Saturdays and Sundays, so I didn't have time to play gakulu. And but Uma would know, she used to understand a lot. So would know at the end of the day, I need to study because in matric, I remember I took time off. I wasn't working in matric because okay. I had to push and whatnot, so I can do well. So I knew wasn't gonna pass it. So my mom used to help me. I should was okay today. You don't. Have to go i'm gonna take over because you're busy and not not mm. yeah she okay. used to help me okay so then after your dad actually passed on yeah who was paying for your university fees were you were you working and mm. your mom working or did you have financial aid like what uh, was the situation um i was working but it wasn't enough to pay my fees because i was earning like yeah, 500 trends a month you know but my mom my mom used to save a lot so she was a hustler as well mm -hmm. so uh, she used to pay for my fees i only got funding after three years of my in varsity yeah. first second and third year my mom was paying for those fees yeah. and fourth year then i started getting funding and whatnot and then things started being easier Easy. you know yeah okay wow i'm so inspired <laughs> i feel like i'm such a lazy person <laughs> no, 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 no. Everyone has like, oh wow well, guys um so let us get into fasting now i want you to actually tell us mm. about fasting okay how has fasting helped you firstly what does fasting mean to you first and foremost oh okay um fasting at this point of my life i can say fasting means the world to me because i i've seen mm -hmm. how it helped me i, I don't want to lie to you before i didn't understand what was fasting and how did it work i mean starving yourself and believing that everything is going to be okay up until yeah. you taught me of course yes let's say fasting and praying Yes. Fasting and praying, yeah. you know, so uh, it, it has played a vital role in my life I don't want to mm -hmm. lie to you because I'm not saying that things were not good before fasting But I've yes. realized how things can happen even beyond your expectations if you are fasting, yes. you know And um, I started fasting literally last year. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew about fasting before It's just that I didn't have it in me and I didn't believe uh, up until I met you and you told I me about it, you like, know. No. <laughs> I was like, no, like it doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know, but um, when I started fasting and praying, doing it, believing and having faith in it, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. My my life um, changed a lot. Things happened. But before we actually go into the things happening, but got happen. Um, um. So what does fasting? I want you to actually get into what it is that you have to do. Like, mm. must I be praying? Must I be drinking water? Is it dry fast? Mm. What what when I learn that she got to be fasting? I think um, it depends on your spirit, you know, and and what you feel like doing specifically on that day, you know, because sometimes you can feel like you want to do a dry fast. A dry fast is when you don't mm. do anything, you don't eat. You don't you don't even drink water no sweets it's just a matter of praying and reading your bible and singing gospel music or playing gospel music so uh for okay. me so mm -hmm. you are telling me that you are telling myself and the viewer mm -hmm. that when you are fasting you need to sort of like um move your attention away from worldly things yes. basically yes so that is to say that if you were going to have breakfast, mm. I'm not saying a food is a worldly thing. I'm trying to to actually show you the difference. We'll see what are the things that you have to take your attention away from. Mm. So you have to take your attention away from food, and mm. at that particular time, ubozo dlanago. We are tenders. Yes, because with fasting, it's more of feeding your soul, not your flesh. Okay. Yes. So tell me more about feeding your 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 spiritual 
being mm. um ngomculo we gospel and reading the word oh, okay. why can't i listen to you can't you can you can always titumboweni on saturdays like i rock it like that you know yeah if i was fasting i mean i'm not gonna lie to you guys and yeah and paint this whole whole she's gonna be transparent i guys. mean girl i party i titumboweni whenever i want to but but you know I, I fast whenever my spirit tells me to fast yeah. and and I don't want to lie to so you. So you don't force it. I don't force it. So it's... that you don't end up breaking your fast exactly. two hours later. Exactly. Okay. So okay, do tell me more. Yeah. Why am I